Today, I invite Kenyans to hold a conversation with what Francis Atoli has been saying in the recent past. Atoli is not your ordinary small trade union, unionist. Atoli is not your ordinary small politician. He's a man of international standing. He's a man who commands respect among the lawyer people from where he comes, from whom he comes. Of late, Atoli has been saying something, and I want Kenyans to try and engage with that. On Labor Day this year, Atoli raised something that caught Kenyans by surprise and got some shock with it. He said that come 2022, Uhuru was going nowhere that Uhuru will be too young to go somewhere, that we had to engineer our structure of government to ensure that Uhuru remained in some position, that otherwise he will cause trouble to those who will take power in 2022. We rebuked him, but then we forgot about it. Much recently, more recently rather, a trolley has been hard to be firm on the issue of the change to our constitution. In fact, he's so assertive, he's so firm, that one wonders what a trolley knows that we don't know. And more importantly, what message a trolley seems to be sending. In a recent TV show, a trolley said that Uhuru Kenyatta should be given power after 2022 because he's doing such a good work in his own words. Uhuru is doing what Kenyans had always wanted him to do. And should he not have finished this good work by 2022, Kenyans should consider giving him more time to finish that good work. Now put together these three major pronouncements. Kenyans should, in my opinion, sit up and look at what Atoli is saying a little more critical than we have done so far. Is Atoli passing some message to us? Does Francis Atoli, the Koto Secretary General, know something we don't know? I leave it to Kenyans.